because I grew up in the Gambia, West Africa, right by the beach, but I never learned to swim. But then when I became a mom, um, I took my own little one to the beach and she stood there and refused to go in. I asked, well, what, what is it about the water? And she said, it just feels so loud. And, and I feel like she finally articulated what perhaps I had been feeling without really understanding. Um, the Gambia has these massive crashing waves. So it is actually very, very loud. And in that moment, I made the decision that she would be different from me, that she would meet the water in different ways. Um, and we would hopefully allow them to get better acquainted. Uh, we actually lived in Sweden at the time. Uh, where we're very fortunate to have a lot of quiet lakes, uh, calmer beaches, community pools. So over a success of years, we visited various waters and without knowing the story was writing itself in my head. And I think she was about five or six one day where we were sitting at an Airbnb that had a massive pool and she just jumped right in and I almost lost my <laughs> lost my breath um but she just swam um and as she popped back up she said well it, it feels just right and and that was when I knew the story was set my daughter was terrified of the water uh but her bravery manifests in the fact that she was continuously willing to dip one toe to go sit by the water to maybe consider trying with floaties and and so that kind of background um, has shaped how I think about children and new experiences. It really centers my belief in the importance of self-esteem and self-confidence, understanding that you are capable of great things, things that you can do now and things that you can work towards. Bravery is sometimes presented as something that we have or we don't have. Whilst to me, my understanding is it's actually a a process of lots of tiny, tiny steps that really stem from your belief, your ability to push yourself that little way towards something that you want to achieve. I will swim next time might be uh, particularly important to minority communities. We haven't had access to the spaces around water in an equitable manner. And so it felt like the story needed to be written, not just for my little one, but also for our community to say something big and bold, like we will swim next time. Um, but I had a very strong intention that the book would hopefully connect to my community. Um, and by my community as an African diaspora mom, I was very much focusing on my West African community because um Back in Sweden, everyone is half fish. <laughs> it's part of the school curriculum, which I think is really brilliant because then children understand that it's it's fun, it's lovely, but it's also a life skill. So I hope that my book can serve as an invitation to the water for the community um, as one of the goals beyond it being a beautiful story for children to also um, be able to access the water.